The Newbury Mayor's Hurdle will kick off Hennessy Day then here at Newbury. And there are seven mayors going to post in this three-mile listed hurdle. And the top one of them is Scorched Earth for Leon van Rensburg. Climbing Shadows for Craig Beckwith. Initial Legacy for Craig Allen. Jim Murray's got two. Lady Matilda and Lady Tinkerbell. Wada Smiles for Darren Thompson and World on Fire for Joshua Sutherland. They're already off and racing in the gloom and the rain as they get to the first of the smallish looking hurdles and they're all safely over that one and making their way towards the second of the 12 already then and Lady Matilda is the one that's settled down into the lead but appears to be doing so on some sort of sufferance as doesn't really want to be going all that quickly it would seem. Climbing Shadows has gone up on the inside of that one and Initial Legacy is also going to find itself with a share of the lead in a minute as they take this turn that they are going very slowly indeed and suddenly Lady Matilda has decided to put a little bit of pace into the race but not a great deal. Uh, now about two lengths clear of Climbing Shadows in second, Scorched Earth moved through into third then Lady Tinkerbell wider smiles and Initial Legacy three in a line and finally World on Fire at the back of the seven. They are making a somewhat slow manoeuvre to the next flight. And Lady Matilda is taking them through the rain with stable mate Lady Tinkerbell not too far behind. Climbing Shadows is closer up in second. And Scorched Earth and Wider Smiles the Great. With the initial legacy and world on fire as they finally get to the second, which they're now over. Their way towards the third. Pretty lacklustre sort of race so far as they move ever onward towards flight number three. Looks so they're all safely over there. Uh, Lady Matilda's in front. Climbing Shadows is second and Wider Smiles is third. Lady Tinker on the outside has now gone fourth. Then Scorched Earth is fifth as they get over number four. With Initial Legacy and finally world on fire just at the back so just seven mares in this long distance turtle and three miles and two of them for Jim Murray's they get to the fifth a good jump at the back there by world on fire seeing that one jump past Lady Tinkerbell and alongside wider smiles and a scorched earth but it's still Lady Matilda that's got the lead as they come up past the water jump and the big screen Passing the winning post with a complete circuit to go. And Lady Matilda continues to show the way to Climbing Shadows in second and Scorched Earth in third. World on Fire has moved up on the outside into fourth. Then the Grey Wider Smiles and their initial legacy. And finally, Lady Tinkerbell. So Jim Murray's ladies are top and tail in the field at the moment. Uh, race downhill there. And now back on an even keel again as Lady Matilda has opened up now by three or four. Maybe going to start to put a little bit of pace into the race maybe it's going to develop I think into some sort of a tactical sprint the way things are going but it's Lady Matilda who suddenly finds herself four lengths clear with a mile and a half to go Climbing Shadows has moved into second Initial Legacy in the green and the yellow hoops is third and Lady, Ma Lady Tinkerbell getting a little bit closer on the outside as they get over number six really good jump there by Lady Tinkerbell who's now gone up into second Jockey takes up Paul though doesn't want to get too close too soon and Definitely some cat and mouse being played by some of these jockeys. But Lady Matilda is most definitely mouse at this moment in the lead with plenty of cats stalking. But Lady Matilda's got the lead then by three quarters of a length. Do Climbing Shadows in second and Wider Smiles in third. Then World on Fire is fourth. They take flight number seven. And now it's all changed at top and Climbing Shadows is taking it up as suddenly Lady Matilda starts to drop away. So Climbing Shadows has gone on then. World on fire on the outside. The Grey Wider Smiles pokes his head into third. Lady Matilda still there on the inside with Initial Legacy which he drunk that shirt slowly. And suddenly the two Jim Murray horses have gone to the back. But it's Climbing Shadows who's gone on into the lead then by about a length and three quarters. Two Initial Legacy on the inside. World on fire on the outside and the Grey Wider Smiles in between the two of them. They've got less than a mile to go. Scorched Earth is just behind them and then come the Murray pair Lady Matilda and Lady Tinkerbell at the back but it's Climbing Shadows then with seven furlongs to race who shows the way home through the rain Initial Legacy wider smiles and World on Fire all poised ready to pounce and Scorched Earth hasn't made its move yet Lady Matilda and Lady Tinkerbell just being niggled along but they're still plenty close enough if they show a turn of foot and nothing is really out of this yet and there's Still a good old way to go as they race down towards the next 
flight of hurdles, which I think is a cross flight and it's wider spars and initial legacy with climbing shadows and world on fire. Then comes Lady Matilda and Scorched Earth and Lady Tinkerbell is the back marker, but it's four and line up top now then as they race down towards this next flight and it's just about wider smiles. Initial legacy over it, they go good jump by wider smiles. Sees that one pull away from a neck in front, but initial legacy fights back on the on the flat. Still going there well, his world on fire and climbing shadows is now a bit either Scorched Earth trying to get into it. Lady Tinkerbell, Lady Matilda are trying to get back into it, but it's Initial Legacy over the third last, suddenly jumps it really well and gets away from it well, now the pace quickens, World on Fire's in hot pursuit, Wadia smiles and Climbing Shadows caught a bit flat footed over the second last they go, it's Initial Legacy from World on Fire, Initial Legacy is two lengths clear of World on Fire in second, racing down towards the final flight then now in this new green mare's hurdle, it's Initial Legacy gets over it, clearing the lead, being chased by World on Fire and Scorched Earth, there's a furlong to go but Initial Legacy is clear by two lengths and he's going to take this one pretty cosily, I think. They're not making any impression at all. And Initial Legacy has taken it. World on fire is second. Scorched Earth is third. And Climbing Shadows is going to stay on for fourth. Then Wadi Smiles and Lady Tinkerbell. Lady Matilda was pulled up in the straight. And it's a win for Initial Legacy. Craig Allen. So there's the full result then. Initial legacy for Craig Allen, the winner. World on fire for Joshua Sutherland, second. Scorched Earth, Leon Van Rinsburg, third. Climbing Shadows for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And Wider Smiles for Darren Thompson was fifth.